Okay, so I figured I'd make a little video before we get the eggs. Hi! Welcome to our channel. Hello. Hello. If you enjoy learning about reptiles and having a good laugh, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Hit. Smash it. Yes. Smash yes. it. Smash it right now. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Hit. Yes. Yes. Smash it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, this is. Ivy, my 75% uh, super dwarf retic, <laughs> and she is het for either purple or white albino, we're not sure yet. I've paired her to two different male snakes. One is a 50% ultra het annery named Nintendo, and the other one is a 75% super dwarf purple albino, Hercules. So she might have babies from either or. So if she paired up with Nintendo, then we're gonna end up with some 62.5% super dwarfs. They'll all be platinums or fires, whatever you wanna call them. Nintendo is a ultra, so that's a super form of the platinum or fire gene. So if he impregnated her, then all the babies are gonna be platinums or fires, whatever you wanna call them. Also 50% chance hit at albino and 50% chance at anery. So <laughs> there'd be some that are probably double hit for snow, which would be really nice, but good luck trying to pick them out. The other pairing would be with Hercules. If she paired up with Hercules, then we're gonna have some 75, some more 75% super dwarfs that are head albino. And we're gonna have either some purple super dwarfs, some purple albinos, or some lavender ones, depending on whether she is carrying the purple albino or the white albino. So this is the only pair, like this is the only girl that right now is for sure pregnant, gravid, and gonna give us some eggs. So very excited for this. It'll be my first time getting some super dwarf eggs. She is just in optimal condition. Very happy with Ivy. Okay, now let's take a look at another one that's looking a little bit promising for this year. Okay, for our next possible pairing, and we're not sure on this one. So what I've noticed with uh, trying to breed, I don't have normal retics, I only have super dwarfs. What I've noticed with uh, growing retics, which basically I've done this from babies, they seem to hit their length at about like two, three years. Like they go fast, they get long, and then about three, four years, they start getting thicker. And that's how you know, I guess, when they're ready to start producing. If they don't achieve that, like that girth, that thickness, then um, they basically don't produce, they're not producing follicles, and they're not gonna be ready to breed, and they're not gonna breed. So trying to, get super dwarfs to breed has been like my little nightmare <laughs> although friends that breed them have said they're the easiest this is going to be my first year doing it so now this over here is jasmine and jasmine is a um 68.75 super dwarf she is a platinum or slash fire, whatever you want to call it, tiger. She's also hit for purple albino. I've paired her also to the same two boys. So if she successfully pairs with Hercules, 
the 75% Super Dwarf Purple Albino. Then in our babies, we should be getting some 72, around 72%, it's like 71 point something, like 0.8% Super Dwarf. And we'll get some fires, some tigers, hopefully some albinos, some albino tigers. And uh, yeah, so that would be really exciting. But then also if she was to pair up with Nintendo, the 50% uh, Super Dwarf uh, Ultra Head Annery, then we'll end up getting some 59% Super Dwarf. We'll get some Ultras. We'll get some Ultra Tigers. We'll get some Fire Tigers. <coughs> also, because they won't all be Ultras, they'll all be either Fires or Platinums. Uh, I find a whole Fire Platinum thing really confusing or frustrating. Like, I don't know what to call them, whether to call them Platinums or Fires. So if you have a suggestion, let me know. Uh, what's more popular, what's more correct. It'd be really cool to get a pile of Ultras though, because Ultras are basically my favorite. If we do end up getting those, they will be 50% het for Albino, and 50% het for Annery. So another one that will be fun to try and pick out some double het snows if want to even try doing that route. So that would be pairing number two. So what I noticed what was a little bit different with Jasmine was that she has, uh, I have them on certain feeding schedules. I'm going to do a video all about feeding super dwarfs because it took me years, I think, to figure out the right feeding schedule and uh, what to do trying to breed them. Hi Avery, you want to say hi? Say hi. Wonderful with it took a long time to figure out what's going on and i think i may have figured it out so i'll share that with you in another video but uh what i noticed specifically with jasmine was she all of a sudden just developed like this crazy hunger where she just she wants to be fed a lot and she wants to be fed every every week and she just it just really seems like she's wanting to fill up and grow follicles. So I'm thinking that's what's happening now. She's growing some follicles, but I think she wants to breed, so that's great. Hopefully we will get some eggs out of her later this year. But if not, I guess there's always next year. Calypso's hanging out in her new wonderful hide. She's not ready to make babies yet. Unfortunately, it'd be wonderful, but She's only like three years old and uh, she does not desire to make babies. Next year I think so. Ooh, if you heard that vibration, the leopard geckos are sexing, yes. Okay, and now last but not least, we have the one and only Queen. She is a pure Super Dwarf, 12 year old Calico. And um, honestly, I think she's Annery also. I think that she will prove to be Annery, but you, you can't really say because lots of the, um, lots of the Super Dwarfs kind of have that brighter look. But she does have, if, if we can get in on them, she does have very nice light eyes. She basically has like blue eyes. Let's see if I can get her to kind of show us. There we go, let's see that face. So, she is beautiful. She has these like blue eyes basically. Let's focus in on them. And uh, She's the one I was basically most excited. I was just like, we're gonna get babies from her probably for sure. But uh, she stopped eating for a while and then started eating again. And I don't think that she 
has eggs yet, but still being hopeful. I also put her to the same two boys. I, uh, I'm so bad with like math and numbers and everything. I literally had to make a list on my phone of what I'm going to get to tell you. If she ends up pairing with Hercules, then we're going to have some 87.5 super dwarfs and they're going to be het for purple albino. And we won't get to know if she is Anery or not. But if she pairs up with Nintendo, we're going to end up with 75% Super Dwarf Fires or Platinums. And they will be 50% Het for Anery. But I'm pretty sure that she'll prove out Anery if, if that pairing goes through. And we'll end up with some Anery babies. If she's Anery, that'd be awesome. And uh, we'd get a whole pile of 75% Fires or Platinums. And I think that Fires or Platinums would look amazing out of her. So I'd actually kind of prefer that to the 75% hit Albinos. But either, either way, I'd be happy. I specifically chose my two males because I can basically breed them to any female. And I'm happy regardless if either of them do the job. If they were to split a clutch, I would know which babies came from who because Nintendo is a super. I'd like to know a nice explanation for why we should call them either Platinums or Fires. So I think, I feel like the people in the States call them Platinums and then here we call them Fires. But uh, I don't really know anyone that has them here other than Chuck Royale, so. Wonderful. Maybe he'll tell me. <laughs> okay, well, those are my updates. These are my possible pairings for 2020. Let's talk retics. If, you, if you're working with super dwarfs and stuff too, it's always nice to connect with each other. If you want to be on my list, shoot me a message. Yeah, that was wonderful, wasn't it? Now make sure you click. Take circle. Yeah, click the circle. Yeah, I did. And then watch this video or this one. No. Yeah? No. Yes. It's not that hard. Which one appeals to you more? Is it this one or is it this one?